So what happens if we want to add fractions with different signs? Now this sounds really complicated, but it's actually quite easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's, it's super easy, and it's not any harder than adding integers with different signs. So let's take a look. So let's say we have a fraction. Let's say negative 5 twelfths, and we want to add that to, um, let's say, 7 eighths. Those are fractions with different signs. Well, the really cool thing that you do is you just do everything like we did before with adding fractions, and then only at the very end do we worry about the fact that they're different signs. So let's take a look at this. So if you remember, we do 12 and 8, and uh, 4 goes into that. That's 3. That's 2. And so negative 5 twelfths. I look diagonally down, I multiply that by 1 in the form of 2 over 2, and that gives me negative 10 24ths, because negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, and 12 times 2 is 24. And then I have my 7 eighths, and I multiply that by 1 in the form of 3 over 3, because I'm looking diagonally down, and so that's 21 over 24, and then when I add these, we're gonna get 24 in our denominator, and we're gonna just have here negative 10 plus 21. Well, that's just adding integers with different signs. And if you remember how to add integers with different signs, you just find the difference. So the difference between 10 and 21 is 11, and you take the sign of the bigger number, in this case it's 21, and so that is a positive 11 24ths. That's all we do. It's exactly the same thing, and you just apply all the little bits that you've learned, and we just add the fractions, and the only thing is we've got two numbers with different signs that we're adding, and we just have to find the difference of those. So let's take a look at another example. How about... Uh, negative 3 fifths, and we're going to add to that, um, oh, I don't know, 1 fourth. So we look at those. We're going to make our L chart 5 and 4. Oh, this is one of those special cases where only 1 goes in. That's kind of nice. We like those because those are really simple. And so then we have negative 3 fifths. We're going to multiply that by 1 in the form of 4 over 4. So that becomes negative 12 over 20. And then we're going to have 1 fourth. 1 fourth. And we're going to multiply that by 5 over 5. 1 in the form of 5 over 5, and that gives us 5 twentieths. And so now we just need to add those together. We know our denominator is going to be 20, and then we have negative 12 plus 5. Those are different signs, so I'm going to find the difference of 5 and 12. How far apart are the numbers 5 and 12? Well, those are 7 apart. And the bigger number is negative 12, so that means the bigger number is a negative. So the answer is negative 7 twentieths. That's our answer, because what we did was we made our L chart, got common denominators, and then the only thinking we had to do was what's the difference between 5 and negative 12? I'm sorry, 5 and 12, and that was 7. Take the sign of the bigger number which is negative, so the answer is negative 7 twentieths. And that is how you add fractions with different signs.